Skateboarding, in my opinion, is a semi-safe, constructive way to release your energy. Skateboarding is a stress reliever when I need to get away from things. You can actually advance in it. And I mean, you can become better in football and, and stuff like that. You're not competing against other people. I mean, you can be if you're in competitions and stuff, but that's not really what skateboarding's about. I mean, you're competing against yourself, seeing where you can push yourself, what you can make yourself do. Skateboarding isn't just a sport or an activity. It really is a lifestyle. It's considered a sport for all you non-believers because it's probably one of the hardest activities that you can really do. It takes so much, so much leg strength and balance, which you don't really need for many other sports. Good quality skaters have. It's really about pushing yourself to your limits, and that's kind of, that's fun. Is challenging yourself. I think one of the best parts about skateboarding is falling, getting back up, and doing what you were trying to do. Like I love if I try and do a stair set or a rail and I eat it, then I get back up and try it and succeed. It's just like, what now? It's really fun because you're always challenging yourself. There's always something new to try. And no skaters are all at the same exact level. So you're constantly teaching each other and being taught at the same time. Skateboarding is not like any other sport. Skateboarding is fun because you don't have to listen to coaches yell at you. Skateboarding is more of an individual sport as compared to baseball, football, hockey, soccer, whatever. It's, it's an extreme sport, they call it, because there's, there's many risk factors involved. It's a big adrenaline rush to ollie a big, huge stair set where you could possibly break your skull open. I'm just gonna make this clear. Falling sucks. I wanna tell you about some bad skate days. You can be riding down the road, going about 500 miles an hour, and you hit this little itty bitty pebble that you're big, and it'll wreck your whole day. You know, the wheel stops, but as Newton's Law says, you keep going, and that's not fun. You gotta get back up and try it again if you're a true, true-hearted skateboarder. You gotta keep going, no matter how much it bleeds and sucks and bruises. The ground and I have become great friends through my 11 years of skateboarding. Um, I've definitely met the ground quite a few times. You know, broken bones and whatnot. It, you get hurt, you fall, it's part of skateboarding. You skate, you have fun. You can't skate and not have fun. I mean, I've never done it. I don't think it's possible. You know, it's just the pure freedom of being able to go, try what you want, fail, try again until you succeed. Now there's two different types of skateboarding you can be into. You can be a street rider or a vert rider. I'm more of a street rider, which is where you, you take any urban scenario, a stair set or a, a rail, a handrail, and you, you maybe grind down the rail or kick flip the stair set. So it's just, just a better option for me. Street skating all the way. Getting kicked out of places while skateboarding is probably one of the most ridiculous things. I believe eight places in a total of four hours I was kicked out of. And five of which called the police. Police don't really need to be involved. See, some people are really nice about it. They're just like, all right, you know, we're okay with you skating. When I was a kid, I was skating somewhere. I got my skateboard taken away. They lost it. They did nothing about it. They said it was my fault. Like, I was just sitting outside of a building once, and I was asked to leave. I was standing there holding my board, and the dude comes out and goes, you're attracting unwanted attention. I need you to leave. Everyone judges you already, mostly just because you're holding the skateboard. So 
They've already made that decision about you. Might as well do whatever you want because they don't care. People don't respect it, and it's baloney. There's more to it, there's more, there's just more adrenaline for me. The possibility of someone maybe not wanting me to be there so much is when I'm kind of allowed to be there, like a skate park. You couldn't just say, hey, you need to leave or we're calling the police. They just do it. You know, they, re they really shouldn't deny skateboarding. It's something for you to share. It brings everybody together to have a fun time together. Skateboarding is a expression of creativity. It's a unique, unique thing to do because not everybody does it. I don't know why I do it, exactly. And I'm not really sure how it started either. But it's awesome.